Welcome back, folks. Today we're back on the water and doing some more winter trout fishing. And today is just one of those trips where I don't really have a something I want to learn. I don't really have a mission. It's more of just come out here and just have fun. So when I'm out here having fun, I don't really try to experiment with new fishing techniques. So since we're doing winter trout fishing, you already know the drill. Well, I take that back. I am experimenting with something new. It's just a different color power bait. Never used this before. This is the yellowy with sparkle color. You guys already know the drill. Carolina rig. Just gonna hook on some power bait. So just gonna take a little piece like that. The consistency definitely is a little bit more mushy than some of the other power bait that I've used. But I'm thinking it will hold. Just gonna mush this all together, form it into a ball, slide it right on top of the hook. So there you go. You got your weights. These are egg sinker weights so they can slide up and down your line. Tied to my swivel, tied to a leader, tied to a size 16 treble hook with my power bait. I'm just gonna dip this, dip the power bait, let it sit, let the water just harden up the power bait and Usually the water is way up here, but the water is a solid like 15 feet lower than normal. So I guess we'll just cast out this way. Cast it right there. Got about a three foot, three, four foot leader. So my power bait should be suspended off the bottom about three to four feet. And we'll see if that's where the fish are. That right there, Artem, right? Yeah. Artem, he's actually a viewer. He's fished down this way a little bit, but he has never fished here. So I figured we, we fish here first because I have actually fished here before and caught fish before. So you are allowed to use two poles here. So I'm actually going to rig up my second rod right here. And I'm just gonna also throw on power bait on here, but we're gonna use a different color because the fish might be picky. And so every time you come out here, I don't care what you've caught them on in the past. Sometimes trout, they change their daily behavior and they want to bite something different. So we threw that salmon egg color on this first rod. I think we'll just resort to something different on the second rod. I originally was planning to use my second rod for a worm, like a night crawler. That's why I have this bait holder hook on here. But I left my worms in the fridge. So we're going to have to scratch night crawlers off the list and we're just gonna have to resort to a second Carolina rig with a treble hook and power bait. I even bought a worm blower <laughs> so that you can pump air into the worm so that the worm floats off the bottom because if you didn't know trout they're a visual fish so they bite by seeing their bait and so if you have your bait laying on the bottom a lot of times trout can't see that so anytime you're fishing with trout you want to make sure your bait is not on the bottom and it's suspended up in the water column so that fish can or the trout can actually see if you're fishing for like channel catfish burbot sturgeon bottom feeders if you will a lot of times you don't really have to worry about making sure they see it because those fish oftentimes bite or find their prey or bait or food by smelling but we're not targeting those we're targeting trout and they're visual fish so you got to play their game so we've got sherbet we've got spring green aka green and we've got rainbow aka chartreuse orange and green that one's maxed all right and you are you straight like just straight this way okay and that one's that way okay so i guess we'll we'll just cover like a fan this one, I'm just going to launch this right in front. New rod, so we got to try to break this rod in. Locked and loaded right here. Salmon power bait and my rainbow power bait. Got them locked and loaded. Got some drinks and some tortillas later if we catch a trout. Got the grill for the trout. Just got the pack full of gear. And then I do have a third rod just in case power bait isn't producing. This is just an ugly stick rod. It's like a what? Four foot eight ultralight rod. 
and this thing's just got a spinner on there. So if they don't want bait, then we'll resort to that. Uh, you are smart. All right, come on. Catch a fish. Oh, I already got I, fish. Oh, I had a hit. No, 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 no. That was a fish. That, that was a fish. 100%. Dude, that was one. I literally just casted it. I promise you, I saw that. It went like this. Yeah, I, I saw it. I, it caught me so off guard. You should have let it eat it more. I know. I thought he was on there. Well, that was a rookie move. We've been moving spots because it's been pretty slow. So he came back over here. I, you guys saw, I just casted that rod in. And I was waiting for my line to settle. And I looked back and the rod was just bouncing. I can't believe I missed him. I should have let him take it. Hey, that's a good sign. It's gonna happen. I just don't know if my power bait is still on there. I feel like he might have took it. Do you know if that's the long or the short leader? This is the short one. This is like a three foot leader. See? They might be a little bit closer to the bottom. Uh, I, I wanna recheck my bait. I don't I feel like I think it's gone. He hit it hard. I don't even know how long he hit it. Yep, it's gone. Let's see if they'll come back. Same exact spot. We'll see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was a fish. What? He was on there. He was on there. What? They're in here. Same spot over and over and over again. Same spot, same results. Maybe you got to change spots. I don't know. Yeah, why don't yeah, why don't you I mean you could cast them anyway. You just could you could put them right here. You could put one right here and you can put one right there. Oh, this one's getting hit. Please, yep, please yep, hit yep, 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 yep. He, he let go. Literally let it. Literally. I guarantee you, I hit it. Oh, you see that? He, you see that? Let it. Stop. I'm not going to do anything. Oh, he... Got him. Oh, my God, dude. That's Finally. Long. That's long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud Guys, of it took so many tries. That's a trout for sure. Got all the different head shakes. <laughs> How long did that take? Like three minutes. Oh. I'm talking about the other four missed. Oh, it, yeah, like 30 minutes. He's right here. I think he crossed your line. Oh, oh my rod getting hit. No, I think I'm. I think I think it was just me. I'm standing. Oh. Don't come off. Yeah, I think they're they're hitting the sherbet color. Right here. Yeah. Yep. Dude, they're in here. Dude, this guy's a fighter. Wow. I could probably just beach him. That's a... Is it wild? It is a hatchery. You guys saw the struggle. So this is a hatchery fish because you can see there's no adipose fin right up here. 
so we could keep this fish. This is a perfect eater. But you guys saw, I've been struggling. I just could not hook these fish to save my life. So this guy, I let him take it forever, but I think we found the pattern. Three foot leader with the sherbet color. Every single time I put sherbet on my rod, they're just, they're smacking it. So this is a pretty average size for river trout. 15, 16 inches. There's some bigger ones in here, but we got, we got dinner. We got nature's freezer right here right there weird watch, watch you cast this rod back in and only the rod out of the four selections this one gets hit <laughs> oh this one's getting hit yep this one's getting hit you see that yep i'd probably set i'd nope he let go set, set, set. got him you want to fight him? Oh, you're, you're getting hit! You're getting hit! Wait, are you on? Oh, you should have waited. Oh, let's go. Dude, we are on the hot bite. Sometimes you just gotta struggle a little bit, try to find them. Sometimes you gotta struggle with setting the hook. And then you figure out what you're doing wrong. He didn't stop. He kept on going. That's your fish. Oh, maybe. I wasn't getting bit. Am I tangled on you? No, you're right here. Oh, I, I guess it might have been. Yeah, it was your fish. Oh. <laughs> no, no, swear, my hook's gone. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Retie, dude, retie. Dude. dude, you got to retie quick because <laughs> the fish are here. I got to keep an eye on my rod on the ground, too. Oh, my goodness. Dude, we are on the fish. Got him. That's another hatchery. So we've had just an insane run of just back to back to back to back bites. Unfortunately, for some reason today, we just can't capitalize, but we did manage two good eaters so far. I should have had my limit if I'm being honest, but we're all getting hit. And that all is happening because of this one right here. We've ran through like five or six different colors today. And this sherbet color, which looks like that, purple and orange kind of, is just smacking them. So let's just hope that they keep biting. It definitely seems like there's a school in here that just kind of swims all over in, in a circle. And so when they swim out, it kind of dies off like what we're experiencing now. And then they make a rotation that comes back and then they just hit all the rods. And that's when we have like that frenzy feeding. And then once they move past, then it kind of dies off again. So we're just gonna clean this trout. We're just gonna start by its vent down here. My knife is not the sharpest. I should probably really go sharpen this, but I haven't done it. So it's not the sharpest, but we'll manage. We're just gonna gut this fish out. I, I was going to just fillet it, but I was like, yeah, we're not going to fillet it. We're just going to gut this thing out. You start from the anus, go all the way up to its chin right here. Go out underneath. Cut this part open right like that. And then from here, just rip its gills like this. And it comes out as one, it, these are its gills, it comes out all together as one with its guts. And then basically you've got a gutted trout. Once you have it cleaned, look at that. You guys see how clean that gut right there is? There's a kidney right here, so that black dark line right here. Just take your thumb and just smush its kidney out. Smush, get it all out of there and then just rinse. This water is kind of dirty. Water is absolutely frigid. Clean this just like this. We're just gonna cut off the head afterwards because I don't think it's gonna fit in the grill, but that's it right there. Cleaned out all the guts. We're just gonna cut off the head. I'm gonna throw that bad boy on the grill. This right here is just garlic salt. 
right on top. Beautiful. Uh, maybe like 20 minutes because I didn't fillet it so it's a little thicker. So you got to leave in the heat a little bit longer just to cook the thicker part. might be burning a little fast. <laughs> Turn off the grill. I've got a feeling it's done. Oh yeah, she's done. Veggies first. I'll give you right here. So how much do you want? Just just enough to Yeah, just enough to yeah, get a little bit. Yeah, Alright. See how this peels right off? So there might be a little bone right here, but it's easy to take off. Oh, I'm starving now. After seeing it? Yeah, after smelling it. Mm -hmm. Just very simple tortillas, sauteed veggies, grilled trout. It's not really grilled, but you get what I mean. Cilantro, uh, honey mustard, and then just some lime. Mm. Oh, yeah. That is just a fish wrap. Of deliciousness very simple but you know this was one of those trips where it was just mainly just wanted to come out here and chill we had a lot of fish opportunities we just couldn't capitalize mm. and then you could just hand pick the bones out if you have a bone in there yeah like that one has a bone but you just yeah. pick it out but look at that like just clean so some people don't like lime some people really like lime I wouldn't say I like it, but I don't dislike it. So here's a lime. Oh, that citrus. Woo. Good. Yeah, it's, it packs a punch. Mm 